Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to clean your tower garden from start to finish. And because I run a tower farm with 8 towers, I'm also going to give you some tips and advice on cleaning something of this scale all at once. Be sure to check out the timestamps to find something you may specifically be looking for and let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is disassemble the towers. I take out all the tower pots except for the bottom one which I leave attached to the base. Now make sure to keep your wing nuts and washers with the rods that you use them on. Okay two quick things, when I'm pulling these off I'm trying to keep them connected because that's just going to make it easier to lay them down whole into the pool. Second thing, you're still going to see a lot of dried roots and stuff in there. I'm actually pulling as much of this off as I can now because it's easier to pull it off dry than it will be to try and gunk it off later when it's wet and clumpy and nasty. Then I'm going to detach all the pumps and remove them from the reservoir. If you're using a gravity tank and float valves, make sure to detach the white line that goes into the base and remove that float valve. Then I'm going to drain all of them if they have anything left in them and then bring everything out to begin the cleaning process. Now the best way to start the cleaning process is to take the entire tower, including the pots, the caps, the base, the bars, the nuts, the bolts, and let all of it soak in a disinfectant and cleaning solution for half an hour. Then I'll come through, give them a scrub, spray down, then set them to dry before building them again. Now what was shown to me that I'm gonna share with you is to use citric acid for your cleaning agent. The first reason why is because it's all organic, has no chemicals in it. I mean, we're cleaning things that we grow food in. If you're using any heavy chemicals, there's going to be a residue left over and then that can get into the food. The second reason why is because this works really well as a disinfectant and for cleaning, getting all the grime off. The recommended amount is five tablespoons per 185 gallons. Since I'm using a 320 gallon pool, I'm just gonna double that to 10 tablespoons. The truth is I always use more than that because I really wanna make it as easy as possible for me to come in, scrape and spray it all off. So I actually throw in about a cup for this entire pool. So I'm gonna throw this in and start filling it up. So I begin by cleaning the reservoir bases because as I clean the tower pots, I'm actually going to put them in the base to dry. And because each of my towers are nine pots high, as I clean the pots, I'm gonna to begin to fill them with nine pots in each clean reservoir. And at the same time, I'm also going to clean these pumps. Now, as you can see, this has a bunch of root system, nasty wet all over it. These also need to be cleaned. What I do is you're gonna pull that cover right off and you're gonna spray this whole thing down and all these suction cups. So here's pretty straightforward. I'm taking each pot, I'm gonna be scrubbing all the way down, getting the cracks, the edges, the bottom. Then I'm gonna take the hose, spray it down and then set it in the reservoir bins to dry. Okay, so if you're cleaning these by hand, there's only really two ways to do this. You can hold it like this. And what I do is I'd start with where the pots go, scrape in this way. I think this is much better than say holding on the inside. What you can do, and maybe in some angles, certainly when you're gonna do the bottom, but uh, at the beginning, yeah, I just wanna point this jump out. Hold the side between. I'm also gonna do the same thing with all the rods. I'm gonna take them, give them a scrub down, make sure that there's no mineral buildup or residue, spray those down as well. Once everything has been cleaned, is dried, then it's ready to set up again and start growing. And as you can see, I got a lot here to go, so let's do it. If you want to learn how to build a tower garden, then check out this video. And thank you so much for watching. If this brought you value, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.